This is another template and beside the fact that here are some outcommended dollar constructions, we talked about that in one of our previous video threads, you will see here as well another very interesting construct which starts with a hash. There is a hash if org then. This is a typical preprocessor condition, which means that this template exists all the time in Identity Manager, but the part that stands between the hash if and the hash end if gets only executed if the corresponding configuration parameter for this preprocessor condition is activated. Without that, it will not be considered. So these hash if constructs, together with a shortcut of one of these preprocessor conditions, will always be something module specific. Very short and very fast to explain. If a template gets a little bit longer than fits into that specific field, the easiest way is to put the complete code out of the template and to move it in a dialog script of type function. And if that is done, then you can call this function here in the template. You can see that on the screen, vi underscore build initials. It's nothing other else than a dialog script that returns a specific value based on the references first name and last name. Are you able just to remember what we discussed around display values? especially for bitmask fields or fields with a list of predefined values. There is as well a specific construct using our dollar notation that could be used. For example, if you look here at this gender, if I just reference the gender field, I will typically get back one, two, three, depending on the list elements that were selected. But to figure out what it is, it is better to use the construction value equals gender and then in square brackets a D. That shows then the display name and returns for that the display name for a specific numeric field value, like you can see it here. And the whole thing stands like a lot of the other shown things here in that specific templates vb.net file, which is a part of the templates folder and the templates files, which is a part of our script SDK. Another construction, what you sometimes can see, is a select case around the UID TSB behavior IT data usage. Please remember, an account can have a signed uh, account definition, and for this account definition, a uh, number of so named managed level or account automation level could be defined. We like, for example, to differ between an administrator account and a user account. And uh, this specific construction here shows how that whole thing gets handled. Um, and as you can see, there are at the end three cases. One with case zero is something where this template gets into if nothing should taken from related identity objects, for example. Minus one, it's the minimum amount and uh, plus one then it's the it's the maximum amount and as you can easily see uh, depending on the automation level that is assigned to the object something different is used why this is important this is important because it could be that you on your own decide to add some more automation level to the system and if you do so then you have to expand as well the select case constructions very in the near of the automation level, you can find in our templates as well something that is called IT data from org. This is a standard function that is called in some of the templates. You can see it here, TSB underscore IT data from org. And this is always the hint that this field is considered somewhere in the IT data. I don't want to discuss IT data and how it works here and that's part of the video. But what you have to know, if you can see that function name in your templates, then this field, that means this column will be as well considered somewhere in IT data. TSB ID data from org, it's the function that gets the IT data out of the database on the basis of some rules you have configured somewhere in the database. We saw that in many of our video scenes before, but uh, if you want to configure the One Identity Manager and if you want to customize something, a lot of very, very Identity Manager specific constructions are just as well described in the manual. A good starting point, it's the configuration guide of the current product version. For example, creating that video th series, I was just using the configuration guide of the Identity Manager 7.1.1. And here you will find a lot of things and a lot of information about different things. 
Some of them was just shown in the videos, some others you have to explore on your own. My suggestion is to look first in the manual before you start asking others. And with that I like to end my short walkthrough around some templates. And what you should have seen is that developing templates is much easier than developing complete API scripts. And this is very good, especially because developing template is one of the first things you have to do in nearly each project.